If you are also looking for professional certified structural engineering services or courses, then don't forget to check link in description of this video. In today's lecture, we learn about how to insert cut line in Revit. So let's get started. This is the section. Basically, we learned already how to insert callout details from Revit. So now we'll add the cut lines. So you see cut lines is used to define the extents of the section as you can see in the view also. The preview of the option. So cut line is basically a detailed uh, detail item which we have to load the family first. So when we go to modify and insert the detail item, we have to load the family for the cut line first. So we are in the folder of Revit families wherever you, you have added it. The cut line is also known as break line. So I am inserting the break line right now. You can rotate the break line as well. So it show, it's, it's supposed to show discontinuity in a section or a view or elevation or a callout detail. Since we have four corners in this view which are showing discontinuity, so we have placed four cut lines. So now I'll rotate this one because you can manage the extents of the cut line by simply dragging the extent arrows. So now the section seems reasonable fine. That's a call out basically. So the cut line is specifying that there is a discontinuity in the end for these parts. So that's the call out view. You can now insert the view into the sheet. And that's how we insert cut line in Revit.